morning guys the day is finally here like i actually can't even believe it so today um i jump on a plane and i go to phuket to get my breast augmentation and lift like i am shook so i'm actually going with cosmetic tour um i went through cosmetic tour and they organized everything for me so um really all i had to do was book my flights which was amazing i just got all my luggage here so i'm just taking like one big suitcase like i literally have so much stuff but really not that much compared to what i think most people bring so all my clothes um like my tripod um i'm gonna put my hair straightener over here so it doesn't get stuffed um shoes makeup hair products protein i've got vegan protein um just like bags and just like tan and face washes toothbrush and stuff like that so that's pretty much all i'm taking for checked on luggage this is my carry-on i've just got my laptop got my laptop in here all my charges and stuff like that and then just a backpack with um just like a book my wallet um and then i thought this was a good idea as well it's just like a little carry-on um like cleanser like beauty thing so it's just got like lip balm body spray um oh there you go so a little textured teeth wipe so i can like kind of brush my teeth without brushing my teeth um which i thought was really cool um i'll have face wipes in there and like a little eye mask as well so i literally can't believe the day is here like um i barely slept last night i was just so like anxious but not anxious in scary like bad way it was like i just kind of just want to know the results and um yeah it's just like the unknown kind of thing i think it's like a little bit nerve-wracking but it's good nerve-wracking like every single time i talk i feel like i'm just like <sighs> crazy just like even little things like I feel like even just making sure you're on the plane the right plane and like getting to the plane on time and all that kind of like um freaks me out so as soon as like I'm on the plane I feel like I'm gonna feel like a lot better um so funny so one of my girlfriends is coming with me she's getting breast implants as well but we were meant to go together obviously and like catch the same flights and everything <laughs> And I think I'm just going to hook you up here, actually, because I'm so sick of already holding this. I don't know how I'm going to... I'm a new vlogger. <laughs> That's so shit. Wow, I suck at this. I truly suck at this. Don't know, guys. Yeah, so my girlfriend and I were meant to get the same plane. So I'm from Sydney. Um, and we were meant to go from Sydney to Melbourne, Melbourne to Phuket. And um, we both decided that we were going to book, book separately because the flights were like a little bit expensive. Um, April is like probably not the best time to travel to Phuket. So keep that in mind if you are thinking about getting surgery over in Phuket. April's like the most, one of the most expensive times to fly over there. Like my flights were $1,000 return and I've gone to Phuket heaps of times and it's been like five or six hundred dollars return so yeah very expensive um so we booked separately and then the other day she said to me um oh our flight's at like 10 o'clock in the morning and I was like no it's not it's midday she's like we need to get to the airport so early because it's at 10 o'clock in the morning and I was like no it's not <laughs> anyway she checked and she had booked different flights to me so um we are going to meet up in Melbourne. We have the same flight going from Melbourne to Phuket, but from Sydney to Melbourne, we're on different flights. So at least we got the same flight from Melbourne to Phuket because I would have died if we didn't. Um, yeah, so I just said goodbye to my little girl, Mike. Um, their dad just went and took her to school because I kind of didn't want to do the drop off at school because I felt like it could have been too emotional and I feel like it would have turned into like this really big thing. It obviously is, but I didn't want to make it bigger than what it was for her and um that was a little bit emotional i'm gonna miss my kids so much so i've got a little girl dakota Orlando, and Orlando's still here he um we have to drop him to preschool on the way because it's kind of like on the way what? come here he's so cute he's my little boy uh -huh. i love you you miss me is that Orlando? no He's are beautiful. That's Dakota. That's Dakota. Okay. Yeah. That we're going to all trick them? We're going to trick them? Yeah. Yeah, say, that's Dakota. That's Dakota. Yeah. And I'm daddy. I'm daddy. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much like everyone's helping out. I'm going for 
13 days in total so like I've got my mum helping out their dad yes. um yes a babysitter yes. my sister yes. it's um, like literally like the whole army which is like so cool yes. that I've been like I'm yes, able yes, yes, yes. hey <laughs> I'm able to do this and I've got the support network behind me um I think that just makes things so much easier when traveling um like Mama. overseas yeah hi I'm me come here I'm me mommy yeah I'm not right. Um. <laughs> I got a this mean. on. This on. This on. I just this got on. some comfy kicks. I got comfy some kicks. Some trackies, a bodysuit, and then a just body like. Kick. Can I do this? <laughs> and then just like a cute um jacket cute on top. Cute jacket on top. Welcome to my life. Welcome um, to my life. So we're just on the way to the airport now. Mike is dropping me off. Say hello, Mike. Hello. <laughs> we just um, stopped at my mum's house and had a coffee at my mum's. I'm like really, really close to my mum. So I went and gave her a hug and stuff and had a little bit of a cry, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm really gonna miss my mum. And obviously miss my kids too. But um, I'm really, really close to my mum. So I got a bit emotional seeing her. But um, we went there for a it's coffee. Right, right. I'm gonna miss you too, but you know what I'm like with my mum? Like, I literally saw my mum and, like, decided to my eyes out. Um, she actually went to Bali. How long has she gone for a week? Maybe five days. No, seven nights. Six, six dark, okay, yeah. Yeah, she's gone for seven nights and I missed her so much. Like, as soon as I saw her, I just started crying. I was like, don't leave me ever again. She's like, you're going away for two weeks. Like, chill. Yeah, so we're just on the way to the airport now. We're running a bit behind schedule. Not really, though. They say... Because I'm going from Sydney to Melbourne, Melbourne to Phuket, and they say to be there two hours before a domestic. Um, and I'll probably get there an hour and a half before, which is fine. I don't really mind. And we're just going to stop at a health food store so I can get some snacks and stuff for Jade and I um, just on the plane because I'm not going to eat any of the plane food because I'm a gluten intolerant bitch and <laughs> I don't like the plane food. I thought I would speak to you guys about um, which surgeon that I've chosen as well because I've had lots of direct messages um, about that. So I'm going with Dr. Sangwan and the reason why I've chosen him as well is um, I've done my research like massively and like Cosmetic Tour have so many surgeons that they work with that are seriously amazing and there's surgeons that they don't work with. Um, they're very specific about the surgeons that they do, um, I guess, work with which is amazing so all of them like were so so good but um my two ones that i really wanted to work with was dr sanguan was my first choice and then um dr boon chai i got dr sanguan which was amazing and i think the reason why i was able to secure him as well as i booked like six months in advance um he does get booked out really quickly so if you are looking at getting him make sure you kind of like book in advance or if you're interested get onto it as soon as possible because like we literally just got in with him so he is known for working on complex cases so he's just not known for just doing breast augmentations he's very skilled in breast augmentations and breast lifts and i have even a more complex issue because i actually have um severe pitosis i don't know how to pronounce that but if you google it you'll know what i mean it's pt S O S I S. Um, so there's like grade one, grade two, grade three, and then severe. And I've got like the, I guess like the most severe um, grade of that. So he's worked on so many cases, um, pretty much exactly like mine. And I went on to his portfolio and he had so many before and afters of pretty much boobs that look so much like mine, which was great. Um, so I'm so lucky that I got in with him. So make sure you do do your research. I find that so important. Like just don't um, let someone choose for you or just go with a surgeon that's, um, I guess, what's the way to explain it, is like the earliest convenience, if that makes sense. Like if you need to wait um, for the surgeon that you want, make sure you wait. Like I was happy to wait the six months. I don't know um, what size I'm going yet. I'm literally just gonna go there on the day and then just try them on and see what I'm comfortable with because like I honestly have no idea. Um, I'm definitely gonna be going round implants and smooth. I'm not gonna go 
with textured implants um, just because of my research I just feel more comfortable with smooth I feel like smooth have less risk um, of any complications or issues moving forward that um, are important to me so yeah definitely getting smooth implants the size once again I honestly don't know because I just don't know how to think what size I would go like I actually look like I have boobs but I don't it's just skin like there's no muscle tissue in there at all so um yeah I pretty much just want to fill out what I have I probably will be looking at about a double D but um in CC's I honestly don't know what that is I'm gonna have to ask a, um Dr. Sanguan so. so pretty much we arrive in Phuket tonight and we will check into our hotel we get like an airport transfer from Cosmetic who has organized it for us and then we'll check into our hotel at night time and then at 8 30 in the morning I've got my consultation and then a couple of hours after that I go into surgery so like literally I'll be in surgery in like about 24 hours that's crazy. Like in 24 hours, this bitch is gonna have titties. Like, so cool. Ubi bays. Ubi bays for the L gays. <laughs> no, we're not stopping. Why? Babe, I've got an hour before I've got to be Two there. Two seconds. Are you kidding? Come on, please. <laughs> Come on. I'm right, literally gonna miss my flight. Are you actually kidding? You're being so serious right now. Don't you are a coffee seconds. whore. Just I'm back off it tomorrow. Did you want one? No. Okay. Are you kidding? What is wrong with this guy? Like, I'm literally running late to my flight and he stops on the way to get fucking coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is life? Um, so I've literally just had the craziest experience already. Um, so on the way up here, my camera decided to shit itself. From the last video, um, it just stopped recording and I fucking freaked out so bad. Um, and then, Oh, I was just so stressed and then I got into Sydney Airport and I went straight to JB Hi-Fi and the most amazing guy helped me out. He was just so, so amazing. He's like, you need a new memory card. It's not reading because of like the different adapters or something like that because I was using a micro card. He's like, don't use a micro card, just use the big card and he, I got two more memory cards so I'm all stocked up now. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I can't explain to you, I was stressing out so much because I was meant to vlog this whole experience. So crisis averted, I actually also went to Peter Alexander. They were having a 30% off all sale items. Um, so I got two dressing gowns for Jade and I and I got matching. So my girlfriend that is coming with me and she's getting her breast done as well. Um, yeah, we got matching kind of like little 90s. I knew that she wouldn't have brought one. I find, I reckon we'll probably definitely need a 90 something that's really easy to um kind of like put on after surgery and stuff and that's light so it's like a silky floral 90 so i thought that was really cute that we'll have matching ones so it's about an hour till my flight i'm at gate 55 i think so i might grab something to eat um just something small because i'll probably be eating a jade as well um i've got some snacks for the plane too went to like an organic um health food store and got like chips and um little paleo bars and stuff like that so we can eat that on the plane but i might grab some rice paper rolls now and have something just like something little to eat and some water and then yeah my flight leaves in like 50 minutes and i'll meet jade at in melbourne Where this is at right now. 
well. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to see my girlfriend. Like, I feel like as we're going through this together, um, yeah, just she knows kind of what I'm going through and the emotions and how I'm feeling and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend if you are going to have done it, if you can get it done with another girlfriend, like if you are going to travel overseas, oh my gosh, do it. Like, it's just been so much fun, even like Jade and I. till my flight I'm at gate 55 I think so I might grab something to eat um, just something small because I'll probably be eating a jade as well um, I've got some snacks for the plane too went to like an organic um, health food store and got like chips and um, little paleo bars and stuff like that so we can eat that on the plane but I might grab some rice paper rolls now and have something just like something little to eat and some water and then yeah my flight leaves in like 50 minutes and I'll meet Jade at in Melbourne. Jade. <laughs> she's in the background. Um, she looks amazing and she thinks she looks gross. Anyway, um, so when we walked out of customs, we had someone like waiting with our names um, on like a little piece of paper, so it was quite easy to find. Um, we're so tired. We just want to get back to the hotel, have something to eat, have a shower, um, and just. <laughs> she's like taking a video of me um, vlogging. Anyway, so embarrassing, but um. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just getting back to the hotel, have something to eat, um, have a shower. Honestly, I feel so sticky and I feel like I smell like um, dirty horse poo mixed with um, petrol. Like, it's actually not a good time at all. Um, the flight wasn't too bad, but yeah, I just want something to eat and something like healthy and wholesome so um, and get a good shower in. So, yeah, anyway, I'll guys will keep you guys updated once. The, once we get to the hotel and show you guys in the room, um, if I don't forget, um, and probably show you guys what we're gonna eat as well. All right, I'll see you soon. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, Jade, you're gonna die. Are you kidding? Oh my god, I think I'm gonna get noodles. Patsy, you? Oh my gosh, yep. $12. It's like expensive at a hotel farm. Whatever. Yum, so we just got some vegetables, um, just like heaps of vegetables because we're both like so malnourished at the moment. <laughs> is, is that a word? Jade? Malnourished? <laughs> Who did you say? Malnourished. Patsy. <laughs> I got Patsy you a chicken and she just got a vegetarian Patsy you. I'm so keen. Good morning, guys. Um, so I've probably gotten about three hours sleep. We got back to the hotel at like um and after we ate and stuff it was like 1am maybe midnight maybe one and it's currently um 
five thirty, and we woke up around I reckon about four o'clock, and we just couldn't get back to sleep. I think we're just like so not nervous but excited, and it's just like that feeling. Um, so Jade's just in the shower now, and I'm gonna go for a shower. We're gonna pack our bags. Um, I've got my suitcase over there. <laughs> Excuse the room already. We've made like ourself at home but um i think i'm going to because i am at the hospital for two nights um i don't think i want to pack everything in my bag i'll probably leave a lot of stuff here just because like i don't want to be like rummaging through stuff um post-surgery and i want my bag to be as light as possible even though they help you with everything here like they don't let you pick up a bag at all which is nice but um so we get picked up at 7 a.m it's 5 30 now um we've got to go fasted um, but I am going to have a coffee, I think, but, um, I think it's good that we ate around 11.30 at night, so I'm not starving, if that makes sense, like, we ate a big meal, so I would definitely recommend that, because you do have to fast, they recommend you to fast, um, at about midnight, from midnight onwards, so I would definitely try and eat as close as you can to midnight, because I feel like at least you got something in your stomach, I know personally I get really, like, nausea if I don't eat, um, after a long period of time so yeah so anyway we've got our consultation today at 8 30 we get picked up from the hotel around 7 um so i've got like an hour and a half to get ready which is fine i'm gonna brush my hair have a shower um definitely gonna shower again just because it could be my last good shower for a couple of days so um i'm excited i had a thought last night and i decided i'm not gonna go as big as I originally thought I was going to go. I did think I was going to go about an E. Um, so I don't know what that is in CCs. But I was going to tell obviously my surgeon what I wanted. Um, and I've kind of thought about it. And I feel because I am not naturally have. Um, like I'm prone to sagging. I feel like going too big will work against, work against me later. And they'll just like sag again. But once again I can speak to my doctor about that. But um, I think I might look at like a D. Um, a small double D or something like that. I've got a few photos on my phone just from like randoms on Instagram. <laughs> to be honest, it's hard to find photos um, without bras and without swimmers on. It's like really hard to find like just naked breast photos that you want. Um, so that's been the only hard thing. But hopefully my surgeon can see like past that. So um, my skin is <laughs> breaking out so bad just from the traveling. Like it's just so irritated um it's probably not going to get any better with like the antibiotics and getting put under and stuff but whatever it's worth it but um yeah i can't believe it it's you guys so oh yeah it's just crazy like i just got off the phone to my mum and checked on the kids and stuff and they're all good and yeah crazy everyone's like sending me a message saying good luck with your surgery and very surreal but yeah i'll keep you guys updated for sure